Hey guys, my name is Piyush and welcome in this channel. We are going to discuss in this lecture on global object. So what is the global object? So if you are accessing the object globally, so the object is called global object. So how you will use in the Node.js, okay? And uh, what is the importance of the global object in Node.js? Okay, so we will discuss in this lecture. But before this, I'm going to give you an example, one best example. Okay, my question is, have you seen alert box on the window? In this window, I'm talking about this window, this is screen. Yeah, you have seen. Uh, you seen alert boxes, okay? So the alert box is called the global object. This window is called the global object. How? I will explain. Okay, but before this, how you will use, I'm going to explain. So, I'm going to open my item. The new. And okay, just uh, create a new file. Sorry, sorry. Just create a new project. Add a project folder. Okay, add the project folder. And uh, I think this one is the best okay now you can see this okay this is a big folder okay just uh, I'm going to no messy my classes this one the so I'm going to close all the apps okay new file is uh, suppose that uh, app.js so this is the app.js file okay so so if suppose that i'm writing console.log hey this is is working This is a terminal when you will write node app.js then you will get your message right but I'm talking about the global objects so like uh, set timeout okay set time interval these all are the global object okay and the clear interval is also the global object so how you will use but before this I'm going to explain why I'm going to use so just I'm giving you an example just writing set <coughs> wait moment okay set interval okay this is the this is the method okay and under this one thing I'm going to create a one function and uh, okay this is the body of the function and then I'm writing console dot log Hey, this block is working okay okay then what you have to do you need to specify the time interval so I'm going to define 2000 or millisecond it means two second okay save this one thing and uh, clear then node app uh, dot js you will get your message right but after two second every after two second you are getting your message right okay okay so control c to stop the console and then now the part is come so i'm going to define my global object where time is just equal to the zero and then after every two seconds this will print the message so time plus
okay so then you will save this and then writing node app dot js you will find the message right two second this block is working then four then five the sorry then six then eight so every after every two second the message will auto read automatically invoke right okay let's see okay so suppose that i'm doing like this like uh, this is the global object and then i'm going to define var time equals to i'm uh, i'm storing in this sorry i'm storing in this object right in this time object and then i'm uh, increasing my time variable by 2 and then i'm printing my message okay but i have a condition what condition when i don't want to print after 5 second after 5 then i want to clear my interval i want to clear my interval then you need to specify the time yaha mein i'm going to define this one as the timer right and then timer right so what is this this is the global object and in this we are storing in this uh, object and uh, the time is increasing 2 by 2 but the time when it uh, it will be it this condition will false it means the time is greater than 5 then this will clear the interval that you set before okay when you save this one thing clear all the things and then node have dot js sorry clear again node app dot js then after two seconds it will print the message first message and the second message and then when it will six it closed automatically okay got it so after this one thing i'm explaining the two things is is direct uh, directory name and the file name so basically it, it, it is called dir name dir name and the file name so so what is this i'm going to explain console because this is a very important interview question when you are going to interview room so interview may ask you this question what is the difference between the dir name and the file name so i'm going to explain you in practically mode so this is it console dot log and whenever you are specifying underscore underscore and dir name and save the file and uh, clear you can see by your eyes what is the difference between the dir name and the file name when you are going to write node app dot js this is what giving you this is giving you a directory name right then in the, uh, it means it is showing where my node mu sigma directory is uh, this folder is is in this okay so this is showing the path of my this folder uh, node mu sigma right okay so if you want if you want what if you want uh, your file name then underscore underscore the simply write file name okay then you will write node approaches and you will get what then you will get your specific file like you can see here app.js is a specific file here so whenever you whenever you write a file name underscore underscore file name then you will get all the full path of the of your file right so this is the basic difference between the dir name and the file name dir name is uh, giving you a full path of your directory but file name 
will give you the full path of your current file right so this is it for this lecture guys hope you like and enjoy this video thank you so much guys for watching this video please do subscribe my channel thank you so much guys